We rely on first responders to keep us safe in the event of an emergency. Absolutely. And as we enter the holiday season, the Honolulu Fire Department is calling on all of us to help keep everybody safe in the pandemic. Here's Kimberly Speakman with more. Dozens of first responders have tested positive for COVID-19. And with the holidays coming up, the Honolulu Fire Department tells me they're taking all the necessary precautions. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell says first responders are getting tested at the state's mobile COVID-19 testing site. There's 150 people. We have a positivity rate of 6.6%. That's very high compared to the state average or the city and county of Honolulu average. You got to think about it that uh, first responders do go into um, situations that the average member of the community does not go into. Captain Roche says 27 Honolulu Fire Department firefighters and staff have tested positive for COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic. With the holidays fast approaching, he says HFD is making sure that firefighters have all the necessary equipment ready, along with the information they need before responding to an emergency. We definitely are keeping our guard up and not taking anything for granted. And we're going into this holiday season as prepared, uh, not just mentally, but, you know, just with, you know, our equipment and, you know, how we do things and our processes, our procedures. But it goes both ways. HFD is asking people to also take precautions when first responders are called out. Some of the things you can do, wear a mask and social distance when interacting with first responders and wait for them to approach you instead from a safe distance. They're also asking to minimize the number of people at the scene. And that'll keep everybody safe, not just the family members, not the immediate uh, people, but our first responders as well, our firefighters. And uh, so if you can do that, that'll definitely go a long way. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.